hello everyone welcome to nigra techies in this video i am going to explain menu display and hide based on the role based authentication in my previous videos i am explained how to implement the login using the jwt token and also how we can handle the refresh token in our angular application so the continuation of this video i am going to explain this menu display so the menu display functionality we can achieve through two ways one is static implementation and another one is dynamic implementation first let me explain about this static implementation you just consider the situation application is having two or three roles only the roles are fixed so in this cases we can use this static implementation so in the angular application we already have the directive ngif using this we can achieve this hide and show the menu and also the menu restriction we can create the separate card for each model so based on that we can complete the functionality so this is the static implementation the next one is dynamic implementation so you just to consider the application it have more than five roles or less the roles can be added anytime so okay the same time menus also we can add dynamically the permissions can be changed anytime so in this situation we cannot hard code all the roles in our code so that's what i suggest to use this dynamic implementation for this dynamic implementation we need to load our menu dynamically from the service data and instead of creating the multiple card we can create a single card using this single card we can maintain the complete authorization so i will explain everything in the deeply so let me start from the static implementation so i already created the application this is my login page basically i have three types of logins if you see this role table the one is admin and another one is staff and the final one is user if you check in the user table so i created credential for each roles so let me go to the application here i am going to enter my password admin user and admin okay great it's all are working fine if you see here these all the menus are coming from the app component only so i am going to start my changes from in the app component itself here i am going to declare three variables so first one is display menu the second one is display employee and the third one is display user so let me create one function also here only i am going to write my all the logics before that i need the role so this is my login function once the login gets succeeded i am getting this jwt token i am added in the local storage in the token so now i am having my token in the local storage so extracting this token i will get this role information for getting the role i am going to create one function in the service side okay already we have up to the logout so here get role by token okay the input is token so here i need to extract this token we all know the jwt token has three parts all are separated using this dot symbol okay so if i split it into three parts the second part is payload so i need to use the second one and the token response the variable is already declared let me use this one here i need to parse it for the parse we can use this json dot parse and also we need to use this setup here i need to pass this token first so let me console it what value actually it's coming here this dot token response first i need to trigger this one then only i can verify so in the app component i am going to declare one more variable current role here this dot current role equal to so i need to consume this login services here as of now nothing is injected let me inject first private service 
So our service name is login services. So here I will get the role. This dot service dot get role by token. Okay. So it is expecting the one parameter. The token is expected parameter. This one also available in the service itself. So the get token method basically will return the token. Before that, I need to verify whether it's logged in or not. Otherwise, it will throw some error. If not equal to empty, I will call this method. Okay, let me try now. So admin user and admin. Okay, it's not loaded. Okay, because we not called in the unload method. That's what it's not triggered. Okay, let me refresh it once again. Okay, if you see here, we are getting the unique name admin user and the role is admin and also expiration details. It's not required. So we can use this role. So let me come to our services here. I can able to return this role. So return here the variable is role. That's it. Now we have the role. So let me go to the app component. So, okay, let me implement the logic here. Before that, I need to explain one thing. As per my logic, the admin user only can access this employee menu, user, about, and home. If I am coming with an user role means, user means the demo user, they can access this home, user, and about. This employee cannot be accessible. And the final one is staff user. The staff user only the home. The home and about menu only visible and the other two menus are should be disabled. So that is the logic we are going to implement. So here as I mentioned the first one is okay display imply this current role doubly equal to admin then it should be true and the second case is display user. So the display user Either it should be admin role or it's a user role. Okay, done. Okay, we can verify now. Let me log out first. I am trying to log in with a demo user. Okay, still it's all are showing because we assigned values to the variables but we not included in our component. I mean in the design side we are not included. So let me do it also. Here we need to use the ng directive. Okay, we have to mention this variable name. The similar way we can use for this user also. For the user variable is display user. Okay, let me try now. Okay, it's gone. Now I am trying to log in with an admin user. Still it's not showing. Let me refresh it. Okay, when I refreshing time only the menus are loaded. But our actual requirement is when I logged in the menus are should be loaded. So for implementing this functionality we can use this observable concept. It's already I explained in my one of the video. But let me do the same thing here also. So in the login services I am going to have one observable variable. Here we are going to use this subject option in the RxJS. And let me declare one getter also. So this getter method will return this update menu. Okay. And let me come to the our login page. Here we added the token. After that, this update menu dot next off. Okay, it's got triggered. Now let me come to our app component. So in the app component, in the page load, I already called this menu display method. So same time, I am going to call in one more place. Service dot update menu. Let me try to subscribe this one. Okay, this is not required. Great. So whenever we are logged in, the values get changed. So here, if I subscribed, 
so this functionality automatically get triggered so we can try one second this one first let me try with the demo user okay only three menus are coming now I'm trying to log in with an four menu admin user and admin now the four menus are coming fine here the scenario is even I mean in login page all the menus are showing this is not the correct way let me hide this one first so okay let me do some changes here so as of now we implemented the on it I am going to implement the do check also let me add the check here okay done in this place I am going to get the current URL this dot route dot URL so this route we already imported not imported we already injected here so the router so that's what you using so double equal to login if it's in the login page the menu display should be false okay let me add this one else it should be true okay we have completed which showing some error so this file is not required and now we have the data in the display menu so let me come to the app component the top of that I can use the ngf so we have done our coding so now if you see in the login page there is no menu now I am trying to log in with an admin user and admin so all the menus are coming even I can access any menu at the same time I am trying to access with staff user so only two menus are loaded but I know the URL of employee okay I am trying to enter this URL so the still I am able to access this menu this is not the fair way so we have to restrict this one also so in the angular we already have the add card option based on that we can restrict this functionality so let me create one card first we already have one art card it's already implemented the similar way uh, we can implement one card for employee first for generating the card we have the CLI command ng generate g so we are generating in the card folder and our card name is employee okay this is asking the options we can choose this can active okay the file got generated let me delete this spec file because it's not required so the default code was there so now let me go to the art card here I am going to copy the existing code so here we not did anything we are just checking whether it's logged in or not if it's logged in fine if you are not logged in we are just redirecting to the login page so instead of true we can paste this one so currently we don't have any constructor let me create one piece here we need to inject our service and route first I'm going to inject the service so our service so our service is login service and router okay we have completed the injection and I am going to declare one variable so current role because everything we are doing based on the role only here only we are going to implement our logic so this dot service dot get role by token right here we can pass the token also this value I am going to set for the current role once I got the role I can verify the condition the current role is admin only can access this employee menu so if it's a admin I am going to return as the true so in the else scenario I need to return the false and also I need to inform the user it's unauthorized to access
and we need to redirect in our home page so this is all about the coding let me go to the routing so in the routing we already added this art card so instead of the art card i am going to add this employee card for the employee menu so here is the employee menu sorry so employee card is included so employee card this is the complete thing because we have the child models also okay we can verify now if i am trying to log in with an admin user this is the past two scenario so i am able to access any menu there is no issue now i am trying to log in with an staff user so only two menus are enabled now i am trying to access the employee menu through the url is saying you are not authorized to access this menu and also redirecting to our home page so that's it now let me try with an user menu so user menu i am able to access because we have implemented this art card for only the employee the same way we have to create one more art card for the uh, user so we need to add in the particular place instead of using this art card we need to use this uh, user card so then only the restriction can be added for user menu also so this is all about the static way of implementation now we can move on this dynamic implementation so first let me explain from our database side so this is our menu table if you see here there are three menus the about contact and employee and the next one is role so now the staff admin and user if required we can add so next one is table so i created three uses based on the role and the final one is table permission so here only we are mapping uh, menus with any role so let me just consider about this admin role in the admin role i am added all three menus okay the same way if i am trying with an user role in the user role i have only two menus at the end the staff we don't have any data so based on that i already created one service also let me show my service here okay so i already i tried with the staff the staff is not returning anything so let me try with an admin now okay now it's showing three data okay so using this service we can generate our menus are dynamically at the end i am going to explain how we can handle everything dynamically in the uh, art card itself so we are not going to create the n number of cards we are going to create on just a single card so even if you are adding new menus also it can be handled okay the first thing is so i am just having this home and logout only so other three menus i just commanded now i am trying to log in with my admin user okay definitely it will show only one menu so we can generate other menus in the dynamic way for that first we need to complete our service side in the service is login service it's common for us okay so get menu by role so here the input is role okay and it will return this is the one of the get method this dot http dot get so api url already we mentioned and our service name is okay we can add here at the end we have to pass the role also okay we have done from our service side let me come to the app component so in the app component i have to declare one variable menu list and now i am going to create one function 
load menu here also I need to get the current rule okay now I'm have the rule so let me call the services get menu by rule here I need to pass our current rule okay now let me subscribe this one so once I subscribed I will get the data in the result so let me add this into the menu list this load menu I need to call in the unload and also subscribe side because whenever I got logged in I need to update my menu also but it's not necessary to include in our ng2 check okay this is from coding side let me do in the HTML part in the HTML part we need to use the for loop Here I am going to just copy any one of the menu. Okay, this ng if is not required. Instead of that, I am going to use the ng for. So let item of. Okay. In the item, I will get all the values. So let me go to the service. Okay, the menu ID and name and another one is link name so here I need to call the name and this is the link name item dot link name so actually we are using the inner position so we support to we supposed to use this double curly braces okay I think we have done we can verify okay see now the all the menus are get loaded home about and buy and user so let me click the menu so the menus also working fine I am trying to log out I am going to log in with an staff user now only one menu is coming it's a default menu now I am trying to add one menu in the staff role also so let me insert it okay now I'm trying to refresh my screen so the about money is coming and I'm going to remove once again so it's not loaded now we have created our menus are dynamically now I am going to explain how to handle in our art card so in the art card if I go there so already we have the art card and another one is employee card so I am going to create one common art card for every menu so the name is role so here also I'm going to choose this can activate only if you see here it's got generated let me remove this one it's not required okay great so whatever it's available in our employee card let me copy and paste everything here so after that we can implement our logic okay here also the same scenario we don't have the constructor let me create it once we created the constructor we need to do the injection and also a router we going to use okay we have done finally we have to declare this variable also okay up to this we have done here after we not required to check any roles with the hard coding value let me remove everything here 
I'm going to return true otherwise it will throw some error okay so here only we are going to implement the logic that means we are going to call over external services so we are going to pass two values one is current role and another one is the current menu so based on that the service will verify do we have based on that service will verify whether we have access or not if we have the access we can continue if don't have an access we have to inform the user that you don't have the access so that is the logic we are going to implement now so now we have the current role and also we need to take the current path current path means current menu for that uh, we can get from this route okay okay let me try in the console console dot log route dot url if i want to verify i need to change in the model also the routing model so in the routing model already in the employee we have the employee card now i am going to change into roll card so i am going to change this for the user also and if required we can include for about also so can activate okay so initially uh, in the home page in the home page only we can have this art card but our other pages we are using the common art card only so we can verify first okay admin user and admin now i'm trying to click this employee if you see in the url segment we are getting the path and also the parameters but we need this path that is enough so in the first section only we are using here let me add this path okay i am getting this employee if i am clicking the user i am getting this user so that means currently we have our uh, current menu and also the current role now let me go to the service side in the service side we not yet implemented our functionality we can implement this one so have access so this is the function it have two input one is role and another one is menu so now let me call the function this dot http dot get this also a get method only so this dot api url plus our service name is let me check in our api have access okay have access it have two inputs so we can pass the values in the query string and one is role and another one variable is menu okay here we can pass the menu that's it so now let me call this function in our card here i am going to call the service dot have access so the first parameter is current role and the second one is our menu name okay done so let me subscribe here also result so whatever values is coming let me add in the console so we can verify now if you are checking in the console we are getting one is 
key code and another one is the result in the result we are getting the pass so we can use this result so we cannot directly use so let me declare one variable just data and so i am going to add this value into the result data so let me check the condition here this dot response data dot result equal to pass then this is the valid scenario that means i need to return the true that's it okay if it's a negative scenario i need to return the false and i need to inform the user who are not the rest to access this menu and also i need to redirect the home menu Okay, we have done from our coding side. Okay, let me verify now. I am trying to log in with an admin user. So, if I am trying to access this employee menu, I am able to access. If I am clicking this user and about any menu, I can access. now i am trying to log in with a second scenario demo user okay if you see only the home about and user are there i am not having the access for employee so now i am trying to enter the employee url here so it's showing an authorized to access okay now let me try with the last option the staff user the only one menu is loaded now let me try with an user so user also saying another is to access and let me try with an employee the employee also saying another is to access even if i am trying to insert one data for staff not an about i am going to add for this employee now i am trying to refresh the screen so if you see if i am clicking this employee i am able to access there is no issue so this is all about hiding and showing menu in angular application based on the role based access and also the restriction of menu still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in your comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this video like and share to your friends thanks for watching thank you